Most all of the activities in this video series and its corresponding toolkit can be easily assessed through teacher observation. However, there are many ways technology can play a part. In this video, we'll show you some ways to integrate tablets, iPads, and smartphones into your lesson plan to assist in student assessment. If you are lucky enough to have a computer and overhead projection system, you can use them to complement the lesson delivery. You'll find sample slides and PowerPoints for projection included in the toolkit. An iPad or smartphone is a great way to record students' progress during a lesson and may also be used to engage the student in critical feedback on a specific skill. So we're going to be able to take a look and see how you're doing just by looking at your video on the iPad and then if you see something, a mistake that maybe you've made or something that you want to try and do differently when you're dribbling, you can try it on the second time around. When students are able to see what their dribbling looks like, it's much easier for them to improve their form. A computer with an overhead projector can project any number of images onto a wall. This gives the students a visual context for the activity. Who remembers what the bear walk looks like? What does the bear walk look like? Can you show the class? In your toolkit, you'll find sample graphics you can use during lessons involving locomotor skills, animal walks, balances, and student and partner stunts. Students may be employed to help partners practice and assess skills during class activities. Stations may be set up and an assessment tool provided to the student pairs. She does it, I check her off, I take my turn, she checks me off, nice job Megan. And we move on to the next mat. As they rotate through the stations, students will continue to check each other's progress acquiring skills listed on a clipboard. An assessment example is provided in the toolkit. There are many activities that are conducive to assessment during class participation. And this time, instead of running, you're going to be skipping. Everybody's skipping. The Ghostbuster Taggers will skip and the ghosts will skip. The teacher chooses a specific skill and takes note of the students who are having difficulty. This method eliminates the time it takes having individuals perform one at a time for the instructor, which takes away from valuable group activity time. We're going to put our feet together, we're going to point with our opposite hand, we're going to step, and we're going to throw. Excellent job. Be sure to have your class list and the assessment tool handy during these activities or games. An example of some of these assessments are included in the toolkit. 